I spent 100 days on an MMORPG Minecraft server with custom items, armor, and more. I'll start by killing low-level bosses in order to increase my skills level, and slowly but surely work my way up the food chain by killing more difficult bosses, obtaining better gear, and battling insane players. Make sure you watch till the end of the video, because I literally obtained some of the best weapons in the game. And also, make sure you join the server, the IP is tavernmc.net, and I will see you guys on there. All right, clearly I've already spent a bit of time on this server. Let me hop on an alt because we are gonna need to start fresh. You know what? I think we're gonna need to change the name. What if we did like best gamer 3763? Okay, that's available. Let's copy that. All right, change the profile name. We'll do best gamer 3763. Perfect. Now we're gonna need to disconnect. All right, guys, look at this. We are completely in disguise best gamer 3763 some random skin here we go i totally forgot about this insane intro as i walked through the intro to tavern mc i started to realize exactly what i was in for to an extent the server is known for its extremely difficult nature and i was gonna spend 100 days here all right we've randomly been teleported out let's actually go to spawn real fast oh my god that guy's name is Sig skibbity sigma god jesus I accidentally toggled my perspective and saw that I was wearing one of the old Been Taken hats. That's actually, this is probably worth some money. It's got the original texture and everything. All right, we'll do 1.5 million, so 500,000. All right. Now that I just found this epic item, the game was going to change completely. If I successfully sold this, my balance would be over $1 million, which is not a bad start. I just put the fedora on the auction house for 1.5 mil, and I guess we'll see if anyone buys it. In the meantime, make sure you enjoy tavernmc.net. It's an insane MMORPG server, and we are going to be spending 100 days on here. Speaking of which, let's start this out. We're going to RTP out into the world. We successfully landed, and this is going to kick things off at day one. I said W when somebody bought something, and I got $500. Wow, that's pretty cool. All right, nobody's bought the Been Taken fedora. Clearly, it's not very, in very high of demand. What we're going to do is slash AH sell this for just $750,000. Half the price of what it originally was. I don't want to get kicked for caps. Been taken. Fedora on. Perfect. This is a pretty good spot for a base. claim everything up here oh i don't have enough blocks for that claim what about this all right perfect and there's a little bit hanging off here oh actually no it's entirely claimed perfect that's exactly what i wanted here wait this chest might be taking some of my claims up let's abandon all claims and then confirm that command let's make sure we set our home there after we've reclaimed everything that way i can teleport back when i need to and let's go get some diamond armor Actually, how much is diamonds on the shop? Because, like, on this server, diamonds are not worth very much. Oh, they're $500 each. Never mind. Um, what if we did auction house? Uh, we can see 3,490,000. That can't be right. That has to be... Let's, lo let's look a little harder. Dude, what is with the uh, diamonds? They're so expensive here. Okay. Oh, 5,000? I don't have that money. Uh, but, yeah, even if I did, I probably wouldn't buy it. Let's just go mine. We'll also get a much higher level too. And then I'll show you guys where we can fight the bosses. Negative 230 and we are just hitting deep slate right now. All right, I can't see anymore. So let's just keep mining straight down and we'll see what else we find. Oh, never, never mind. That is the end. So I only have so much durability on this pickaxe. I'm thinking we do slash home and then home um and we try again in a different spot hell you know what we could do rtp and just get out of here um and yeah i think that'd be good oh look wow nice winter snowy biome sort of deal oh ice cave oh wow let's go okay i gotta be careful here so uh so to not die how much freaking cobblestone we have Alright, got some shroom lights over there. Oh yeah. Uh, 
All right, so before I enchant anything up, I do want to look at the warps. I want to show this off to you guys so you can see exactly what uh, what this is. The warps are how you kill bosses or how you get to the bosses. We've got a whole list of them, a truly insane amount. It goes all the way up to level 3,800. And beyond that, there's even more bosses that you can find out in the world that are really, really hard to kill. You can't warp to them. I think there are some uh, player warps that people have made. Um, but I'm telling you, these bosses are just insane. Like hundreds of thousands of, of health uh, type thing. The first boss up is the Queen Bee boss, which requires a level of 50, or the recommended level is 50. My level is 30. Um, so we're going to need to level up just a little bit more if we want to kill this thing. I decided it'd be a good idea to check out the Queen Bee boss, but when I went there, this happened. Oh, the minimum level for this area is 40. We can't even get in here. Wow, that sucks. I guess we're gonna have to fight things out in the world. Oh, let's go. We just won. That's oh, we got three grand from that. It said the first one to type crystallite wins. That's crazy. Let's see what we can find on uh, the auction house. Unfortunately, nobody's buying uh, the been taken fedora, which means I might just lower the price down even more. Ultimately, I decided to lower the price down to 250,000, which is literally a third of the price I had. The reason I did this is because we only have 100 days. We have to go fast. That's an insane price reduction right there. If nobody buys it, I don't even know what to think. Oh, wow. I see a beacon. I think we can also toggle our PVP. Yeah, PVP disabled. That way uh, people can't kill me. Or at least not in the wild like this. People can't just run up and murder me and leave. Uh, that would be really unideal. So if the goal is to level up anything and everything, then honestly, I think we should go mine down and possibly get some obsidian for an enchantment table. That way I can, uh, I can upgrade my level through enchanting because I need to do that anyway. All right, here, wait, might be better just to drop down from this ridge. That way I have even less mining to do. Oh God. Oh my God. Yeah, we definitely need a water bucket so we can fix this whole fall damage issue I'm having right now. Oh, oh, Jesus. I figured if I went down as far as I could go, I'd eventually reach obsidian. And that I did. Hello. All right. So here's the scoop. I think that is powdered snow. I think, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's find out, shall we? Oh, my God. That was crazy. Ah, perfect obsidian. We found one of the obsidian caves with literally just obsidian. Dude, powdered snow is awesome, man. Now that I had enough obsidian for an enchantment table and enough diamonds too, I figured it was time to get some leather and create a maxed out enchantment table. All right, efficiency four. Okay, so here's the issue, kind of, guys. Oh, we're level 33 now. We are going to need to level up completely in order to obtain more XP levels um, the easier way. In theory, I could just, you know, break the barrier by... Well, hold on a minute. Let me, let me think about this. My thought process was going a little bit like this. I needed XP levels very badly. And on one hand, it would be easy to just go kill some bosses for it. But on the other hand, I was not nearly geared up for that. So unfortunately, the best option was to go to the nether and mine quartz. Although uh, I did find this blaze spawner, which was actually very, very good for XP. And actually not just XP, but it was also like leveling me up a ton. Let's just sit here at this blaze spawner and kill as many blazes as we possibly can. Eventually, I decided that I had milked that spawner dry and I went out to mine quartz, which unfortunately is a very boring process, so I'll just kind of fast forward through this. Very nice stuff. Yeah, that's right. We're going to have to go back to the nether every single time we want to enchant something and mine up a ton of quartz. This is going to be very painful. But the 
custom enchants are so good, but we have fire prod. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I can't. Oh, uh, that's so sad. Disappointing. But we have prop four next. So let's just get three more levels and we'll be good. Prop four, I'm breaking three. Let's freaking go. That's not bad at all. And we are now level 41. So we are off to a great start here. Can't believe it's, it's just the start. We've been going for a while now. This server, this server can take some time to progress on truly, but it's always worth it because it's so much fun. Now that I had successfully gotten to level 40, it was time to head over to the first boss. All right. I just grabbed some ender pearls from the shop. That way I can just pearl right back if I need to. So the issue that we're going to have here is this guy's level 248. This guy's level 128. There's like, they're, they're too powerful for me at level 40. There's not much I can do. I need to be in that same level area in order to progress with these people. Otherwise they're just going to get the queen bee kill and I'm not going to do. And with that, I just waited for the queen bee to spawn and eventually it did. Maybe some hits will help me. I'm going to try and stay out of con uh, combat here. They're going to get the kill for sure, obviously. Yeah. I didn't increase my level a bit. And it was entirely because those people already had really high levels. They simply did all of the damage. And this was going to be a massive problem throughout our 100 days. One word, kill stealing. One of the most dishonorable things in the gaming world. And the only way to get around it, becoming more powerful. All right, so the command should be slash skills. Um, we've got fishing, or let's oh my gosh, bro's a yapper. Here's the deal. We've basically got a bunch of different skills that we need to upgrade if we want to consistently be able to upgrade our level. And naturally, the one that made the most sense for me to upgrade is enchanting because you know, I actually need to enchant things. All right. So that, yeah, we got, uh, that's an upgrade on uh, the enchanting thing. Now that I had fully enchanted gear, I determined that the next step would be brewing, or as it was known on the skill tree, alchemy. And with that, I got started. Your boy yoinked some brewing stands and got all the necessary materials to start cooking. I mean, brewing. <laughs> would this help my skills but it also helped me fight bosses as i would definitely be needing strength health and regeneration potions if i was actually going to win the fights oh damn let's go level 50 regen let's go all right regeneration two obviously all right so here's what we're going to do i know the because i played on this server before i've i know the location of the hardest boss in the game basically this boss has a bunch of henchmen that kind of spawn around it it should be skelly just skelly. Oh my god. Yeah, that is not that's not what we're looking for, but that's cool. It's got a bunch of henchmen that spawn around it, and these guys are like really hard to kill. Literally, the moment I found the entrance to the boss area, I immediately saw another player who appeared to be way more powerful than me. This worried me a ton because usually where there's one, there's more. Usually a lot of people don't really hang out here, but even having just one person in my proximity that had the ability to one hit me was not good. That I'm not the biggest fan of. Alright, alright, alright. Ah! God! 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 Oh my god! Okay, I was not prepared. I was not prepared. I was not prepared at all for this. Jesus Christ. Alright, we need to be really careful with this. Um, okay, okay, okay. Alright, you gotta... All right, well, that is that is not good. Despite my best efforts, I died. But unfortunately, I lost everything I had. My first thought was to try and get it all back by simply going back to where I died and trying to find it. But unfortunately, the gear was gone by the time I got there and I ended up just dying again. Bad idea, very bad idea. Shouldn't have done that. This is actually so sad. I'm trying to look and see how much, um, like, like crystal okay crystallite is way too expensive for me this does kind of suck but it does also if we look at the bright side of this it does give me the opportunity to um you know do a little better and uh get some better stuff here convincing myself that everything was fine and that i hadn't just died and lost all my stuff like five minutes ago i got back to work trying to regain everything Okay, stuff. I think 
Let's go retry for Queen B. Let's go. Why are there two? I'll take it. All right. We got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Oh my God. We are leveling up like crazy. I was fully prepared to fight the queen bee again and start working my way up to the next boss. So wh why don't we just go kill the minotaur? Leave right now. Leave. Go away. Leave. Get out of here, buddy. Yeah, that's right. That there's the door right down there. There's also two of these. I don't get it, but we're going to go with it. Go, 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 go. All right, go away. Go away. Go away. This is my freaking kill. Dude, my kill. My kill. My kill. Did you seriously get the fucking armor? Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you guys. Very nice indeed. I didn't get very many levels from that for some reason, which is weird and I'm not a fan. I think it was because they also killed it, which is really, really annoying. That's the only reason, that's the only, fr one of the most frustrating parts of Tavern. Yep, like I said, kill stealing was gonna become a major problem. Even if the other players didn't intend it, they were still stealing my kill, and let's be honest, I was stealing theirs too. There were really just two ways around this. A, get a higher level like we discussed earlier, or B, log on on Tavern's downtime when there were only a few players on to completely ruin my life. Oh, but wait, I forgot to mention option C. Let's go ahead and warp over to the um, Minotaur as well, just to see. Oh. Got some right here. One of them's not even... Oh, no, they're both being... What the hell? Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, option C was randomly finding a dead player's stuff, which just so happened to include one of the best weapons in the game. And a Mal Malika axe? Oh, that is so crazy. What? 20 attack? Oh, that is, that is epic. That is just epic. Let's see if I can find a Malika axe on here to show you how much these go for. I mean, 20 attack damage. That's crazy. This has 17 and it goes for 800,000. Somehow somebody died with this in the Minotaur area. That is actually so lucky. Yeah, that's a Malika chest plate and it goes for $3 million. So the ax cannot be far off that. Yeah, there we go. Five, five million. Oh my gosh. I just hit the jackpot. That's crazy. This is only prot two, but we can enchant it for sure to be much, much better. Oh, things are looking up. Things are looking up. We're like getting close to being able to buy a silverite stone with this. So the one thing I'll say, I cannot lose this. I cannot lose this. I will not be taking this to any major arenas, uh, at least for a while. For now, we're just gonna deal with what we have. Yeah, Malika has its own crate here. Look at this, dude. And then Berserker Rod is also really good. That's legendary, yeah. Two legendary things, crazy. And then we can, we can go fishing with this. Um, which should give us, like, decent stuff, hopefully. I don't really know how it works, but, uh, yeah. Eventually, after sitting there for a good long while, I decided it'd be a good idea to build my very own fishing hut. After that, I just decided to enjoy the peacefulness of nature and do a tad bit of fishing. But I quickly realized I needed to get back to work and stop being a lazy piece of shit. And so with that, I went straight to the Minotaur Arena to start destroying some bosses. Malika Axe, which literally makes me a god here, okay? Yeah, after I tragically died and lost all of my stuff, I actually had to go for a bit, so I decided to AFK. Spawn has an AFK area, and every single hour you AFK there, or like half hour or something, I don't know, you will get an AFK crate key, which lets you unlock some pretty cool stuff. Unfortunately, it will count towards my days, so I probably should have been a little bit more cautious with it.
gonna lie to you. I don't know how often you get a um, AFK crate key, but I have AFK there for a long freaking time, and we got five AFK crate keys, which is, seems pretty good. So let's open it up and just see what we get. I mean, the rewards look great. What we? What was that? I should probably have chat on for this sort of thing. I've already got netherite, so I don't need that. Golden apples, that's great. All right, so craft ourselves some diamond armor and uh, keep this journey going. Oh, I guess we already have some that we didn't enchant. I also decided to get trench on my pickaxe. It basically gives your pickaxe a chance to mine a big three by three by three area every now and then. My goal was to go mine crystallite in the end, but there was one thing I wanted to do first. How much is a, a Malika key, by the way? Hold on, I put it in chat and I missed it. Yeah, so a little bit too expensive for me. Yeah, I'm not gonna get that. You know, in no world would I be, you know, such a spineless piece of absolute poo as to buy a crate key or three. Don't judge me like that, okay? It's addicting buying this stuff. I just thought, why not? It's gonna help me out. I'm in a bit of a tough spot, all right? I screwed up with the Malika axe that I got, and now I need help, okay? So we're just gonna deal with it. Are you kidding me? I got a fucking rod? Oh my gosh, a rod. That's crazy, that's wild. All right, Malika turn. Okay, we got a chest plate. I'll take it. That's crazy. That's over like $5 million right there. All right, and finally, the Spartan crate key. I swear to God, if I get a Spartan fishing rod, I'm going to die. Probably by my own hand. What is this? Sorcery skill. Oh my God, that is perfect. Holy sh**. That is actually perfect. Sorcery skill orb. People are telling me not to redeem the skill orb in the chat. All right, apparently the skill orb is really good. Okay. He wants a... Cr okay, crystallite sword. Is that it? That's all you... You want to give me money or anything? I kept getting tons of trade offers for these three skill orbs, but this was something I really hadn't seen or dealt with before, so I had no idea the value of these things. But people started offering crazy stuff, like full berserker gear with a little bit of crystallite and stuff like that. For the most part, I didn't want to trade with anyone, due solely to the fact that, to be honest, I kind of wanted these skill orbs. They'd provide a nice opportunity to increase my levels by a ton, but there was one problem. Multipliers. You see, on this server, players are able to buy global skill multipliers, meaning it will multiply the skills for everyone, including me with these new skill orbs I just got. Basically, it'd be a complete waste to use them now. I'd be much better off waiting until a multiplier was activated because I could get somewhere in the realm of 21 million XP instead of 1.5 million. And frankly, the clock was ticking on these 100 days. I didn't have time to sit here and wait and hope for a multiplier to be activated. So ultimately, I decided to trade these orbs with a player by the name of Zarzars for some really good gear. How about I'll trade one orb for some crystallite leggings? All right, I don't know if he can kill me in his claim, but just to be safe, I'm gonna shove that in there. Okay, good trade, good trade. Ultimately, I decided that I only wanted to trade a single orb. I didn't feel comfortable spending all of them at once since I really didn't know how much these things were worth. But this Zarzars guy was really insistent on taking all of them. So in the end, I decided that they were worth more in Zarzars hands than mine. Okay, he wants anything for the new skill orbs, anything. Okay, let me, Goku's trident, almost anything. All right. Um, okay. All right. What should we take you guys? I think that's a warden rod. Um, all right. He said almost anything. Four things. Four things, buddy. All right. That's crazy. And just like that, the deal was done. I now had some really good gear. It'd just be to do slash EC and use the pick at this pickaxe instead of the Malika one. Uh, solely because it's got trench on it, and it's definitely not faster. This one's way faster, but this one has trench, um, so I'm more inclined to use the diamond pickaxe. Ultimately, I decided the next step in my 100-day plan was to mine for some crystallite and see what we could find. And I found... 
absolutely nothing. But ultimately, I did realize something. Netherrack is much easier to mine than Endstone is. Yeah, I found nothing there too. Um, instead, let's look on the auction house or we could just deal with the diamond helmet. So AH, um, oh my God, 20. Oh, he's, he's just using that as an advertisement. Yeah, there's nothing. There's frankly, there's nothing. Yeah. Um, so our other option, the other option we have is to, well, A, hold on. Before I, before I go through any options, what is happening? Oh, shit, are those... Oh my gosh. Yeah, I could have just waited to use the skill orbs. Dude, low key, I kind of want to, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to cheat, okay? I, I'm not going to go buy more crate keys. I can't, I can't do that. It's so addictive though. I want to so badly because here's the deal. It's, so this is going on for an hour. What if I just bought one more, right? One more. I mean, let's be real here. The odds that I actually get a... Any of these, like the, the sorcery skill orbs. Tier two, that's crazy. What chance is this? 25%? So if I get four of these, what are these all? Oh, these are 25% too. Oh, so it's like, there's like not a good chance that I'd get skill orbs. Okay, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. We're not gonna, we're, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fucking do that. All right, that's scummy. All right, that is, that is very scummy. You know, at the very least, let's do warp. And then we're gonna go ahead and go over to Minotaur. Um, where there's no PvP. Ultimately, I just decided on fighting the Minotaur boss, as it was still a really good way to get XP in order to increase my skill with the current multipliers. Isn't that crazy? What's this? Water Walker? Don't care. What if I went to Valkyrie? How many levels does this guy have? For the record, this arena does have PvP. Look at this guy. He wants to fight me. You think you can fight me? So the only shot I have at like getting more levels is killing the Minotaur. But every time I kill the Minotaur, it doesn't level me up very. It, kill, it levels me up by like three, meaning you kind of have to get out of your comfort zone and and you know fight some other players. All right, some guy was trying to bait me um, <laughs> into the into the Azalea area with a crate key, and I grabbed it, and he couldn't kill me. So this is mine now. I got 15 e gaps. That is crazy. Plus, we have a total of dying from earlier, uh, which is great, too. I, I think just one more, all right? No, I'm not, I'm not, this isn't cheating, okay? This isn't, what the f*** is this? Are you, I got a shovel. Dude, come on. You trying to get me to come out there, dude? I barely killed a guy that was like level four or 500 earlier, and that's because he was pretty bad at PvP. Well, thank you. I don't want that, but thank you. I'm gonna make a run for it. Ah! I got fairly bored with just sitting around wasting my days, so I came up with an epic plan to capitalize on the skill multipliers. I was gonna go back to the Skeleton Overlord boss area and kill the minions there, but this time, I'd teleport out of reach and murder them with my bow and this trident I bought on the shop. In my mind, it was a foolproof plan, unless of course one of them had a bow, because sometimes they do, but I was extraordinarily lucky because I only found the melee ones and I was able to kill them, but it took a really long time. and it is leveling me up like crazy. After I successfully killed just one of those guys, my level increased by well over 100. It was a foolproof strategy, so I went right back to do it again. Unfortunately though, I started to see some seriously overpowered players. That one guy we just saw had a mythical level weapon and could have easily killed me in a singular hit. So ultimately, I decided to give it up, especially since there really wasn't much more these guys could do for my skill level, as I'd need to kill something more powerful to level up like that again. You, hello you, um, you have a very much higher level than I do. Same with that guy, isn't that crazy? All these people could probably kill me. They could probably kill me, yeah. Um, and honestly, it's just like this guy is AFK gear. What is that? Really? You're level 500? 200 levels higher than me, and you've got AFK gear? Come on. Oh my god, this, this guy's been here forever. What if I went to the warden area? I don't see anyone here. 
I got very lucky and found the warden arena completely empty. Or not. That's a player right there. Then this guy attempted to murder me, but luckily my pearl draw was quicker than his. What's your what's your level, bro? 770? Oh, okay, I'd be dead. I'd be dead instantly. What about uh, the Ender Dragon? 650, and there's a player here. 2,000 level player. <laughs> yeah, hell no. The Warden, though, that would be doable. Bad idea. <laughs> Very bad idea. Two seconds on this PvP timer left. Oh, i curl this way. Oh, shit! I just killed the level 737 dude. Hold on here. Hold on a minute. Let me, let me go home home. And then we're just going to like get put all this shit in here. All right. And we're going to see what I can do. All right. I think I'm stronger than I think I am. I'm I'm getting a little more confident except for that. That That's too high. That is, that is very too high. What if we went to Star Serpent? I've never seen this. I'm fairly comfortable being here. Hello. I'm at like, a, I'm at a higher level than required here. And I have some goaded in my inventory. Yeah, that leveled me up like nothing. How many levels do you have, my dude? Level so okay. Um, these guys are running though. I have no helmet. Hold on. What, am, what the f am I doing? I'm fighting a level 900 player when I have no helmet. You bastard! I was okay. That was scary. This guy wants to jump them with me, bro. Okay. I low key, I kind of have to now, right? All right, we're gonna jump this, guys. Are you gonna? Are you trying to fight me, dog? Are you trying to get me? Are you trying to? You trying? You you finna try to fight me? Oh, that is so scummy. That is so scummy, bro. Is like, all right, we can play it that way. We can play it that way. Let's go. Let's go. I'm fing insane. I'm fing insane. Bro, bro tried to trick me by freaking. What a loser, man. What a loser. Oh my gosh. Do you want to lose all your shit again, buddy? God, I've become toxic, haven't I? Guys, we're low key. We're getting close to the end of the 100 days. We need to do a little bit better. Seriously, start leveling up, actually. But you know what? In honor of that glorious victory, I want you guys to enjoy this nice montage of me fishing. I get a crossbow and a bow no i just got a crossbow from fishing which is kind of weird low-key all right guys you know what today is today is day 93 i know you can see it in the top left corner of the screen or the top right wherever i decide to put it in uh in post it's one of the two and i don't have much to show for this and 100 days on a server is a lot and i'm only level 370 we gotta like grind or something oh my god i keep falling it's right in that single spot. Oh, and I forgot to get it on a video as well, but that nice guy, Zarzars, from way back earlier, was nice enough to bless me with uh, the top left corner of a Silverite stone as a token of good faith. So yeah, that's gonna help out quite a bit. Let's go to Azalea. There's nobody here. There's nobody here. That's not true. Loki, I feel like there are definitely people here. Okay, that guy's level 750, but I'm I'm feeling good. Today today might just be a good day, indeed. Please don't hurt me. I I'm, I swear, okay? I'm I'm friendly. We got floral stuff. Isn't that great? A floral rod. Whoa! What are you doing, buddy? All right. Yeah, you think you can fight me, bro? Bro, realized. Bro, realized. Bro, realized what he was in for. Isn't that crazy? Come on, come here. That's crazy.
Stay away from me. Goodbye. It's too easy. All these people have only like one totem though. So when I pop it, they're just like, they're gone. Even when I kill the floral boss, like it doesn't, um, it doesn't do very much, you know? Let's say we carefully just walked into here, hoped that nobody came and killed me. Maybe splashed a speed pot just in case, maybe a strength pot. This guy does mad damage. Uh-oh. I don't like I do like a little bit of damage unfortunately I don't do like mad damage to this thing it's just a little I don't even have a helmet right now oh my god I, but I can't leave oh my god I just popped it come on Come on, just die, just die, just die, please, just die. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Come on, come on, let's freaking go! I didn't get any, any, anything from this. Except for an insane amount of levels. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this. I know you, yeah, run, dude. Be you better run. Oh, I love to see it. A player running from me. And with that, I felt fairly comfortable in my 100 days. I had accomplished a ton, but it was not over yet. We're getting close. I really wanna get a helmet before I go. Okay, AH cell, AH cell, 500. Let's do it. Sold the silver right stone on the auction house for around $500,000. Anyone could do that and make money off of it. I'm just trying to do this really fast. Somebody bought the half. That leaves me with $800,000. That's the end of the video. Congratulations on making all the way through. And I will see you guys in the next one.